Hey, what up, everybody? It's your boy Luke Savadogo right here, and I go by the name of Bison as well. So, uh, for all the French people out there, please don't call me Bison, because you make me sound from that to that. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm on the swing right now. Uh, my back, right ass can barely fit on this thing. It was just like a childhood swing. So, yeah, I'm just letting one of my thighs on that thing. So I'm going to be starting my vlogging journey in the fitness industry. And I'm hoping to reach out to all the people out there so I can help them as much as I can. Well, the difference between me and the other fitness vloggers is that I'm going to be experimenting on myself. And I'm going to see how far I can get with the results, you know. Well, none of you know me. I'm new to this whole uh, vlogging stuff. But... I'm hoping that I can reach out to as many people as I can and hopefully I can get to them and help them in so many ways. I'm an athlete as well, I still play rugby and uh, I'm much into bodybuilding but also like aesthetic work so I might mix in those two styles from time to time and who knows maybe later on I'll go into powerlifting, I'm not sure. So uh, it's going to be one hell of a journey so I'm hoping that you guys will be along the, along the ride and we'll figure out what happens. So one of the things I want to talk about is like how all of these vloggers and fitness influencers are really helping out the industry by giving them information. Now, I love that, like especially Jeff Nippert and uh, Athenex and all these guys are coming in and they're doing amazing things. But for example, Jeff Nippert's post, how many of you can actually say that you actually tried one of his workouts, you say? Like most of you, like you look at it, and you say like, oh yeah, this brilliant information. Like, yeah, that's awesome. But what do you do about it? Nothing, you know? At least not all of you, you know? But like, I'll be honest with you. Like most of you guys, you just look at it, at the information, keep it within you. And when the day comes, you'll probably use it. But instead you should try using it because maybe you can enhance your program that way. Now I'm all about the right programming can get you the right results. It's not about like, uh, yeah, the intensity and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, frequency is a big key for getting gains. But if you don't have the right program, then I don't think it's going to work for you, you know. The way you train should be different from others, you know. It doesn't mean that it's going to work for everyone. By the way, I have to mention that I'm a big anime fan. So you might see me doing some reviews about that. Or if you want to, just comment in the section below to check out like anime stuff. Because I'm not that experienced into it. It's been like three years now. But my current favorite right now is Seven Deadly Sins. If you guys don't know it, you better watch it. You definitely better watch it. Now, I don't know if you guys ever watched the movie of uh, Wiz Khalifa and Snoop Dogg, Mac and Devin go to high school. But there's one quote I've been using, uh, using it as my motto since, ever since Snoop Dogg actually said it. It was, the question should be why, the question is why not? So that's what my mentality goes by, you know, that's what I mainly do. I just try things because why not, you know, like how are you going to know if it works if you don't try it, you know, so that's going to be my main mentality and you're going to be seeing that a lot. So I'm going to be trying a lot of experiments to see what works and what doesn't work. And uh, if it works out, then you guys can give it a shot as well. But like I'm technically going to be a guinea pig if you want to for fitness and the experiments and the exercises so step by step i'll see with the cousin right now he's having his traditional lemon minted seven Wait, up so you're telling me i just coincident like i just slow-mo pour the seven up in my drink right no we're not doing an advertisement for seven up right now we're just uh, enjoying our food at our favorite Bam. place yep boom this was B. Bada, bamboo, bada B. <laughs> you, know, like, you know, see that? Yeah. It's like bamboo, bada B, D top. Drop. Say again? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that beauty. I'm gonna stop that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Saturday night meals with the cuz. Enjoying this too. That was like. Uh, my favorite part. Honey mustard. I'm gonna have my breakfast and I'm gonna have some oatmeal right here. Make some blueberries, cheese eats, and cinnamon. 
And of course, I have to have my special food, the palm grenades. Now, I always try to mix up with food so I can just get all the nutrient value of them. Because I'm sure all of them have different kind of values, so why not? Every morning, I try something new. So, yeah, let's enjoy the breakfast. All you new niggas don't do it for me, love. Bitch and the professor, you a student to me, what? Cause all the shades on, like you cooler than me, what? Hey. All we do is win, you a loser to me. Rappers wanna talk about battle me. You can give me neck with a mouth full of cavities. Bunch of little niggas try grabbing me. So today I have a lot of free time on my hands, so I'm just gonna enjoy some GTA online. Have fun with it and everything. Sorry guys, I won't be able to record myself playing because I am not so good at it. Because I'm like, I keep dying because other people shoot me down. But once I get the tripod and everything, I'll start recording that. And it will be some fun watching the video all the time. But despite that, today I have a rugby match against a team called AUB, which is the American University of Beirut. And I'm hoping to win on my team, which is Andy, University of Notre Dame. So, I'm just gonna enjoy my time just enjoying the game. I'm not worried about the game, I'm just having fun playing rugby. So, yeah. Now, you guys may be wondering, why am I so playing GTA online? Well, it's fun. It's pretty diverse. I don't get really bored from playing it because, like, they keep on updating missions and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm like, why not? And now, for the first time ever, I see a blizzard in the game. You know, the only time I've seen that kind of wet template, template like, uh, weather is bully. If anybody remembers that game, and all this guy's crashing a lot. <laughs> Alright, so today, we're gonna be facing AUB in a rugby match at Cinefield. This is my boy Kiko, he's gonna be the center for the game. Yeah. I'm gonna be half back. And this is the assistant coach of LAU. He's an enemy, but he's cool with us, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we'll tell you the results after the game. I'm popping, I'm popping. Yo, bitch, keep hitting my line. Alright, match report boys. I want you guys to give your opinion on who do you think won the match. For all of you that said that NDU won, you are correct. We won by literally two points. It was a really tight game, probably one of the tightest games I've ever played in my life. We were literally losing 12 to 0 first half. Second half, we made the biggest comeback and actually won 20 to 18. It was pretty intense. I loved it. But what happened at the end, we had a fight. Now, I'm not going to post a video of the fight or anything, but like it was just silly, silly stuff, silly quarrels. So we. It's rugby, it's a tough game, so what can we do? But it was a good match on both sides, and we were able to pull it off. This was all the game for representing the, our captain's grandmother who passed away. So we actually represented, we actually did our best. And yeah, that's basically it. And sorry for the video highlights, it wasn't so clear. But you know, it was on the phone, so I can't do much about that stuff, so yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a similar clip of how I scored the last try against AB to win the game for NDU because obviously the cameraman was way too off and couldn't take the right footage of the last try so I'm gonna show you a similar one I did against AUB again All right. So this week's vlog is going to be a bit short, but I'll add more content next week once I have the workouts in check, like I'll add my own workout routines. I'm going to be alternating between bodybuilding and athlete work, this is going to be uh, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions for me or recommendations, just let me know. Pretty sure I'm forgetting something. Right. And for all the people out there, I'm 99% natural because why not? I'm not going to explain more than that. If you guys have any idea why I said this stuff, comment below. So that's all for today, everybody. Matane. I'm giving, giving trash.